Hey everyone, how are you all doing? So today I've got some Google certifications for you and Google is back with their voucher program. And in this voucher program, my friends, you can do six certification and these certifications starts from the very basic that is Google Digital Leader. It also has associate level certificate and then it climbs to the professional level certificate. And you can save up to $200 with these voucher program. And let me tell you one thing, not just the certificate. In this voucher program, you also get the access to the Google badges. And along with that, you also get the access to the Google Boost program or better known as Google Skill Boost platform, which is a platform where you can do all the certification, all the online certifications about all the technologies in Google. And is that all? No, there is one more thing. You also get the access to the seven days instructor led training. So all that is coming up in this video. Watch the video very carefully as I tell you all the steps related to this voucher program. And now my friends on your screen, you can see the registration for the edition two is open. Now, what does this mean by the edition one or edition two? Well, the editions are nothing but the quarterly programs that Google opens for the certification or the voucher program. So here you can see that we have four editions, edition one, edition two, edition three and edition four. And each edition lasts for approximately three months. So here you can see that the edition one, it opened from the March 18th and lasted to the 30th of May. So approximately three months and likewise we have edition two, which is now open and then we will be having edition three and edition four. So you can note down all the dates for the edition three and edition four also, or else you can also subscribe to the channel so that you get the timely notifications whenever these editions are also open. So now coming back to this edition, edition two, and here you can see that the registration are open for now, as I just mentioned, and these registrations will close on the 30th of April 2024, 5 p.m. Pacific time. So here you can see that 5 p.m. Pacific time. So in case you're watching this video after the 5 p.m. Pacific time on the 30th of April, then you are already late for the edition two, but then nothing to worry about. In case you're watching this video even late, you still have edition three and edition four. So now let's look at the editions and their details and what are the certifications that we can do in each edition. So first of all, start, I will not cover this edition one. It has already passed. So let's begin with the edition two, which is the current edition. Here you can see that we have certifications such as associate cloud engineer, which is the associate level exam. And then secondly, we have professional cloud architect. And the third certification that is available in this edition two is professional data engineer. And lastly, we have professional machine learning engineer. And of course, my friends, you can also observe in case you're eyeing on the certificate that is professional cloud security engineer, then you have to wait until the edition three is open. Okay, so now let's understand what are the other details, how exactly you can enroll in these certification. So here you can see, first of all, this is apply here. I will come back to this a little later. But first of all, as I just mentioned, you can get the skill badges. And here you can also see that you will also get the access to the skill boost. You can see that here. So skill boost is this one here. You can see that skill boost so skill boost is this one here. You can see that here. This is a Google platform. As I just mentioned, you can do all the certifications online training about the Google technologies on this very platform. And then of course you get the certification as it is mentioned here. Now this is the countdown to the certification. You can see the timeline to the success. So what are the basic steps that are involved? So first of all, you have to apply for the program and you receive the get certified badge on your developer profile. So basically as of now you are here, this is the starting point and then you have a wait list. So please note this point very clearly that we have a wait list here. So once you enroll to the certification, you will be in line or queued in a wait list. And once you will be through with the wait list, you will be connected by the Google team. So here you can see this is the second step, the wait list. You will receive the information about your status a week before the edition kicks off. And then you have this acceptance stage. In this stage, you get ready to learn. The Google team will connect with you through the email about the start date. And also please note that this start date will be varied as per the region you are living in. And then we have this opening date. So you will receive seven days access to the instructor led training labs and the information that you will need to start progressing to the stage two. 
And once you reach to the stage two, then you are here, which is called the certification journey. And this will be a structured 10 week program where you will get the training based on the certification that you have chosen. And of course, then you get the certification. And also my friends, then you approach to this FAQ section where you can read all about the terms and condition, understand them all and check out whether you are eligible for the certification or not. And friends, one of the most important FAQ that is given here is this one who is eligible to participate in the get certified program. But here you can see one small condition here to start the process and receive the most relevant updates and the information about the program. Please provide your company name and email address. Now this one, my friends, I just checked upon. I checked upon this apply certification here. So once I reach here, I clicked on this. So you can see this apply here. So here you can see that you have to provide your full name. So I will fill in my data. So then I have to select the city I'm living in. So I will for now, I will just say New Delhi. And then let me choose my experience. I will fall under this category establish 11 year plus. And then I will select some role as per the role that you are putting up in your company. Let me for now select as data engineer. And yes, one more interesting question, my friends. Now that I'm filling this form here, do you actually understand what is the difference between the data engineer and the data scientist? Do let me know in the comment section. And now I'm thinking to make a very quick video to make you understand what exactly is the difference between these two roles. But yes, you also do let me know in the comment section. What is your understanding? What are the differences and the similarities between the data engineer and the data scientist role? So I will come up with the video very soon. But for now, let's choose the data engineer and then you can just go ahead and create your dev profile. So now it's processing and here it comes. So this is step two of two. And here it says, yeah, hey, your dev profile file has been successfully created so you can subscribe for the news and the program announcement if you want it to be and then just become a member and once you finish this step here and you become the innovator as the google says then you have to provide your company's name and the organization or the corporate email id but let me try this with my personal email id so i will just say some random company i will say let's say the tech okay i will put this name here the tech and then i will put my personal email id so here it goes okay so now you can see it allows me to put my personal email id it has not validated in any sense now i just need to pick my certification journey so i will say let's say let's say that i want to become a professional cloud engineer or let's start with the google digital leader which is the very basic certificate and then i will just agree to the terms and condition and join the waitlist so you can see this this is the joint waitlist which we also seen here when we were talking about this journey or the timeline to success. So here you can see this is the very next step. So the first one was that we apply for the program and then we are automatically taken to the wish list. So this is how it is my friends. So I am also applying for the same. You also apply for the same. And let's see if the program allows us to do this certifications using our personal email ID. But of course, in case you already have your corporate email IDs or your company's email IDs, and I'm sure that most of us are already working with some company or the other. So please go ahead, use your corporate email ID. Of course, you can discuss with your company policies. And yes, do let me know if you are through with the process. I will also share my experiences and the proceedings as I get the communication from the Google. So you can do the same in the comment section below. And yes, if you really want to be updated on all these certifications and the voucher program, be it on Amazon AWS, be it on Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure. I always come up with these kind of videos where you get the most timely updates on all these voucher programs. So please subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you get the timely notifications and do not miss to like the video so that these kind of videos can reach to the larger audience. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep planning and thanks for watching.